Now, I want to address something. I think it's mighty crazy that I have 500 subscribers on YouTube, 90,000 views. I'm not monetized yet, but yet I already, even before I even hit 500, I think I was only at 100 subscribers. I already had women being jealous of my YouTube channel. Like, how is that possible? I'm not even making money off YouTube yet. So it's like I must be doing something right to have women already jealous of a channel that's not even considered a big channel. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It just goes to show you the higher you elevate, the more haters you attract. And that's how you know you're on the right path. Because like I said, thieves don't break into empty houses. They attack what? The most valuable. But yeah, I just, it, it just flabbergasts me because I never thought me creating a YouTube channel and not even, and being as small as I am, 500 subscribers is not big at all. I mean, it's big to me, but it's in the YouTube world, it's, that's really low. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just a small channel trying to work my way up. Why do I already have women? It started with so-called, it started with the so-called YouTuber, so-called life coach who she, she um, love bombed me. Cause so at one point she was like uplifting me. Oh, you're so sweet. You're this, you're that telling me all these positive things about me. And then she's saying that my channel was growing. And then once she's saying my channel was growing, all of a sudden you're putting me down and calling me names. Like, that's crazy that this jealous, evil spirit is in people like this. Like, and they get jealous over the smallest things. The smallest things trigger them. Like, come on now. Is your self-esteem that low? Is your self-esteem that low? What were you taught growing up? That's what it, that's what it, it, it just makes me question that. Were you not taught to have high self-esteem? Were you not taught to have confidence? Were you not taught to compete with no one but yourself? You shouldn't, I shouldn't even be your competition. The woman in the mirror should be your competition. But that's how you know I'm going places. Now, I haven't really been receiving a lot of hate until recently some kids discovered my YouTube channel. And again, started with the love bombing, started with, oh, your YouTube is wonderful. We like it. How do you do this? How do you do that? Of course, I'm not going to disclose the name of the kids. And then you go from love bombing me to saying how amazing this and that is. And then you get jealous. Something in your mind clicks and you get jealous. And then all of a sudden it's let's put her down about the same thing you complimented me about. And what makes us so sad is that it's black people doing it. Why do we as black people always have to attack each other? Why do we have to compete? Why do we have to get jealous? Why do we see each other as enemies? You know, I think it goes back to slavery times. Even though it's 2023, it's still here. The hatred, the self-hatred is still here because we were taught to hate ourselves. We were taught to hate each other. And I'm sorry, when I notice it, I have to speak up on it. I have to say something. Young girl, don't be jealous of me. Don't be envious of me because the same things I accomplish, someday you can accomplish too. I'm no better than you. I'm no different from you. I was a little girl at one point too, you know? So you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Also, little girls being jealous of other little girls and what they have and how their hair looks and, you know, what clothes they have and 
what job their moms work work versus they're just constantly comparing themselves. And I get it. You're young. Your mind is not fully developed yet. You're going through puberty. You're going through phases. But I feel like that's one of the worst things that you can do. So I'm going to correct you in love is compare yourself to another girl. Compare yourself to a woman. I'm a grown woman. There's no reason why you should be comparing yourself to me. There's no reason why you should be comparing your mom to me. It's just certain things that little girls should not be doing. You as a child should stay in a child's place. You're not grown. And it's just certain things that you shouldn't even be worrying about at that age. Your mom had the same opportunities that I do to get out here, to work, to get nice things, to be a good person, to have nice things, to be pretty, to be, you know, to be successful. So why should I feel guilty for being who I am? I'm not going to apologize for this. I had issues with Quentin's situation. With being attacked by women and girls. Yes, it can happen for simply being pretty, for simply having nice things. Oh, she thinks she's all that. Oh, she's stuck up. Oh, she's she's too high maintenance for me. When women walking up to him saying they don't like me. Girls in his family. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like her because she thinks she's all that. You don't even know me. You never even took the time out to get to know me. But your envy won't allow you to. I'm, I'm saying it because envy doesn't have an age limit. Hate doesn't have an age limit. Anybody can hate at any age. So when you see it, you as a mother, if you notice your little girl comparing yourself, comparing herself to other little girls and even other grown and either in even grown women, women, sorry, you should be correcting your child in love or get your child in some therapy. Start telling your baby girl how beautiful she is. Start finding ways to lift her self-esteem up to the point where she doesn't feel like she has to compare herself to someone else. Because what's going to happen is, if she keeps up the toxicity, she's going to grow up and she's going to have self-esteem, low self-esteem issues and depression. She's not going to love herself if she keeps on this path. Because she's going to always be comparing herself to somebody else. It starts with you first because you're the parent and you're the adult. Start teaching your kids self-love at a young age. Then they wouldn't have to compare themselves to me. Then they wouldn't have to be jealous of me. Then they, then they wouldn't have to turn into bullying an adult or trying to bully a, a, peer, a kid her age who she thinks looks prettier than her. The toxic behavior has got to end. It has got to stop. I see too much of it happening in the black community and it's heartbreaking. And nobody wants to speak up about it. Nobody wants to say anything about it. So I will speak up about it. You got young girls committing suicide because a jealous bully decided to, to take their insecurity and self-hate out on them. You got kids as young as 10 years old, 10 years old committing suicide. So, yes, it is a problem. And if nobody else wants to speak on it, I will speak on it. Then when stuff happens and it escalates even further, that's when everybody want to act uproared about it. And everybody wants to act like they care. You know what I'm saying? Why do we have to wait until somebody hurt themselves or until it makes the news or something illegal is done for us to address, thing, address things in the black community? Why? Then we pick and choose what we want to be uproared about and angry about. So when racism is a part of things, we want to guess what? We want to get out here and riot. We want to get out here and protest. But we never hold each other accountable. 
we there what's 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 the uproar when it comes to little girls committing suicide because they was bullied by another 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 little girl who looks just like them who has the same color as them so yes i am gonna speak about it because i see it with my own two eyes and everybody else wants to pretend like it doesn't exist. The hate needs to stop within our community and it starts with us. It's too much evil. It's too much narcissism, mental illness within our community. It's a disease that needs to die slowly. And it starts with us. We are the change. We need to be the examples for these young kids who are looking up to us. We need to be role models. Don't pick and choose what you want to be upset about. If you see bullying of any sort, you need to be upset. But then you also need to educate, inform, and get that child some help. Period. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm going to start calling it out because it needs to be called out within our community. We can call out everybody else and what everybody else does to hurt us. But when can we ever acknowledge the hurt that we do to each other? When? It's always everybody else. It's never us. It's never any accountability within our own race when we hurt each other more than anybody could ever hurt us. All right. Okay, I got out everything I wanted to say on this video. We need to stay prayed up. God needs to be the center of our lives. This, this is the problem when people don't have God in their lives, don't have God in their hearts. Things like this happen. Go back to the old school where we were praising God, where we were teaching kids about God. Teaching kids that God loves them. And when, if God loves you, then guess what? You should love you. Let's pray. Let's get therapy. Let's talk. Let's work it out. So this world can be a better place. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.